Hey, I'm Parker McCollum, and you are watching Celeb Secrets TV. We're here in Florida. We're not yes, in Nashville. Yes, um, we're here for Odyssey's Stars and Strings. I know it's benefiting Folds of Honor. So how does that mean? What does that mean to you? It's good. I, I've gotten to know the, the guys over at, uh, and gals, over at Folds of Honor quite a bit. We played a, a gig for them in Minnesota, a private deal earlier this year that was really cool. Um, and they had guys parachuting into the vent, this guy's backyard. It was baller. Um, but any, I'm such a patriotic person. I love this country as much as I think anybody. And, um, you know, I never served in the military, so I have an immense amount of respect for those that did and are currently doing so. Um, and Folds of Honor just embodies everything that, that all of that is about. So anytime I have an opportunity to do anything that, you know, helps them out or does anything for them, I'm, I'm game. Totally. This was a no-brainer for yes, you. Yes, ma'am. And uh, what are you singing tonight? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I sang pretty hard at the Children's Hospital earlier today and forgot the entire second verse completely. Did not get one word right. Luckily, none of those kids knew who I was, so it didn't okay. matter. But. Um, hopefully that audio will never see the light of day. Uh, what's so funny because I've sang that song eight million times. We went off tour for almost a month now, yeah. so I just I just went for it, thinking you know usually you got it, and I didn't I didn't have it. So I may may have to play pretty hard and uh, make it up to him tonight. Right, right, you have a chance to redeem yourself. Tonight. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but it's a big week next week. Um, CMA Awards. Everyone's going to be getting yes, together. You're nominated yes, for Song of the Year. So, yes, ma'am. Um, what does that feel for you? That's a songwriter's award, so that's that's probably the one that means the most to me of any of those awards. Um, I never win them, so I'm always super grateful to be. I've won a couple, but you know, I, I've, I'm like a nine-time CMA award loser, uh, and so. But honestly, I don't hang my hat on winning them. Just being nominated, honestly, just being invited and yeah. being thought of in that room for all the most talented people in country music. Um, I'm sure one day they'll quit asking me to come. Uh, so I'm very grateful anytime I get to go. But being nominated for an award that is about the songwriting is totally. everything to me. Yeah, and that's really at the core of what you guys yes, are. Yes, ma'am. So 100%. that really has to be meaningful. Yes, ma'am. And um, I know you announced a tour for next year. We did, this yes, ma'am. first arena tour? No, this whole year was arenas. Okay. Um, so it's been, it was crazy. This year was crazy. Okay. I don't even know. It was, uh, I'm still really processing it. I feel like I've, I've been off the tour and supposed to be my time off but I hadn't slowed down one bit to really think about it all um, so hopefully getting closer to Christmas time I'll be able to kind of look back on the edge it it's this year was berserk I mean it was yeah. balls to the wall crazy I don't even know how to put it into words but hopefully next year will be just as good was there like a favorite highlight or moment that sticks out to you from the road this year uh, just from specifically the road I would say playing Kyle Field the largest ticketed concert in US history with George Strait on my yeah. birthday Incredible. It's pretty hard to beat on the yeah. year, so that was a good one. I love that, and I heard you're working on new music. I just finished my new album okay. week before last. I was in New York City for seven days, cut the entire record in wow. seven days, and it's done. That's amazing. Yes, was like the big city inspiring you when you were making the project? You know, I, I was kind of hoping for that. I had Central Park out my window, okay. um, and the, the leaves were just crazy orange, and I wrote this song Tuesday morning. The second day we were in the studio, I just okay. walked in and wrote, this song called New York is on fire and we cut it right there. So okay. it's kind of a cool moment, but I mean, I didn't go to a restaurant. I didn't go to a bar. You I got to. the only time I wasn't in my hotel room or in the studio, I was in the car headed from one to the other. <laughs> so it was a grind. It was intense totally. week, intense, yeah. but it was good. And do you maybe have like a proudest moment from this new project? I don't know. You know, I had to cut half the record and then I'd scrap the entire thing, switch oh, producers wow. and start it completely over. Wow. So it'd probably be out already had I not done that. <laughs> Um, but I just needed to, I don't know, I needed to challenge myself. I wanted to, to go take a shot and roll the dice and kind of see if that kid was still alive in there and, totally. and go, you know, be a little more raw songwriter, you mm -hmm. know, which is kind of how I started and I was missing it. And uh, who knows, the world may not like it, but I love it. <laughs> Listen, all your music is great. Everyone will love it. Um, and lastly, any holiday plans so far? Wife's family for Thanksgiving will be hunting at their ranch in Oklahoma. We'll go to my family back home north of Houston for Conroe or for uh, Christmas. Okay. Um, same old kind of thing, but we got a little one this year, so got to pack a little more stuff when yeah. we go places. Yeah, and Santa's coming. Santa's coming. Yeah. Luckily, I know her, her mom's like wanting to get him gifts, and we have so much stuff at our house. I'm like, he'll never know. Please don't get him any gifts. Like, he's <laughs> going to know, know for like four years. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure she's got a million things for him. He's already got like six guns. People have given him like Goodness. gun. He has a he has an arsenal of guns that wow. he won't get till he's probably at least six months old. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got he's got so much stuff already. People have just given us so much stuff for him. So That's hopefully sweet. nobody gets him any Christmas gifts. <laughs> That's sweet.